Okay. Whew. Yes. Hi. Hi. Okay. Whew. Almost forgot to hit record then. Yeah, that would have been bad. Yeah. Yes, I know you're delighting in watch and seeing me watch a racer head tonight. It was a long time ago when I did like I remember watching a chunk of that on TV and um specifically on demand and I was so freaked out by it that I just stopped watching it. Like I was just like, yeah, uh uh I'm out of here. <laughs> Oh, come on, you stupid thing. Why isn't it working? Okay. All right, there we go. Oh, god damn it. I've been having a lot of startup issues lately when it comes to playing games, so just give me a second. Oh, come on. Come on. All right, there we go. Let's try it again. Boop. Okie dokie. There we go. And I've got the controller running too. All right. Absolute end of gods. Play at your own discretion. <laughs> never noticed. For some reason, my brain never really noticed those messages before. All right, let's get back to the spooky. Loading, 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 it takes so long to load, 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 load. Okay, there we go. Head to Jotunheim through War B2. Alright, let me just make sure what area I'm on. There we go. Hooray! Oh, shit! That's nice to see you, buddy! <clears throat> oh. Don't use the eye of Odin until the last Absolute key is inserted. And away we go! Whee! Oh, oh, mama. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, it's like earlier I took it off, I took a nap, but just for tonight's stream, I'm actually in the costume right now, and then I'm gonna hang it up for the rest of the night. Uh, but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm still in the costume. If I had a webcam right now, you guys would definitely be seeing me, and oh my goodness, look at this beautiful vegetation! It's so pretty. And 
and look at that giant skull over there. Let me just yoink. Let's save right here. Oh, goody. Extra juice. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, mama. What? Am I? Whoa. Holy moly. Oh. These are all eggs, aren't they? Oh, God. These are all fucking eggs. Motherfucker. Oh, God. Oh, goodness. Okay. Let's get to the safe spot. There we go. Yeah, yeah, it is. Man, they didn't just rip off of the set design, they also decided to do that shit too. scurrying around. Alright. Time to use those things to light my way home. Hmm. I wonder. Okay, I've got a dumb idea. Maybe if I run... All the way over there, I'll be able to make it. Let me just recharge my juice. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know if I was swallowed, or if it just dragged me down here. Something happened. Woo! There we go. Dr. Thomas Jameson, Chuddenheim Operations Supervisor, Day 3. We've been working around the clock the last three days to set up a lift to reach the bottom of the pit with the proper equipment. Dr. Anderson claimed that this giant hole in the ground is the well of wisdom from the myth. The remnants of the prior guardian seems to confirm that suspicion. We're setting up the elevator to get further into the pit, but... I have got a bad feeling about this. You and me both, buddy. I saw something move down there. Something big. <laughs> His fears were not unfounded. Oh, ow. Ooh, level six. All right. Uh, icky, gooey, gooey and icky, icky and gooey. Oh, that's not good. Well, I saw those, uh, uh, thingies. Come on, come on, recharge. Okay, there we go. Let's go up here. Ok, 
Okay. Holy! Fucking hell, there's worms here! There's worms here! Don't see me and I won't see you. Got it, buddy? Whew. Oh, thank goodness. Really? There is? Huh. I don't see it happening on my end, so... I don't know what the hell's going on there. Alright. Let's see. Let's attempt to run over there and... There we go. Boop. Okay. Yink. Did anyone hear that? That didn't sound good. Ow! Shit. If I don't think about it, it doesn't exist. If I don't think about it, it doesn't exist. If I don't think about it, it doesn't exist. Come on. Yink. Okay, come on, charge up, charge up. Yeah, that's friggin' worms. I like worms, but... Come on, charge, 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 charge. Do a bad thing. There we go. Hopefully I'm on the right path. Oh, that's not good.
Uh, oh, they're probably wor they're probably words. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe I might be open to a video game to a movie adaptation of this. At least you know, like something that kind of combines, like at the very least, something that combines science fiction and Norse mythology like this would be kind of sweet. I mean, it's not the first time, but oh boy, this kind of goes like in a full horror route and that totally works okay uh, let me go in the opposite direction see if that nets me any results ho oh. oh. okay okay just charge up let me charge up boop I honestly have no idea where I'm going right now, so... Yeah, there are a lot of fat worms all over the place. And I don't think any of them are friendly. <gasps> light! I see light! Oh goodness! Maybe I was going in the right direction after all. Oh boy. Well, let's see what's here. And I'm hearing Kane barking. Of course, he always barks. Ow! Oh my god, it was a giant worm! They're sinking cities with a giant worm! <coughs> oh god. Okay, music's ramping up. That's not a good sign. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Whoa. Whoa. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. I'm getting out! Or Gears of War 2. Yeah, Gears of War 2 had a plot moment where a giant worm was going around sinking cities. And yes, it came out after SpongeBob. Huh. Well. That wasn't too bad. Hmm? Hello? That wasn't so bad. Got what I came for. And we. Oh, crud. Let me fix that. Okay, there we go. Much better. All right. Are you there? Can you hear me? Sarah? What's going on? Oh, you're back. I, I've lost connection with Henrik. I think the spirit is taking control of the base again. Please, insert the key into the Absalom tablet and finish this. Don't worry, I'm going to. Damn, Kane's going ballistic. Four, two, 
I'll be right back. I'm gonna go see what, uh... Oh, it's okay. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go see what Kane's barking about. I'll be right back. Weird dog. He seems to have calmed down when I came back out and scratched him on the head a bit, so that's good. Alright. Time for me to go ahead and shove that last piece in, and oh dear goodness. Whoa! Oh fuck, I'm back here again. For me, Loki. Get away. Oh, fuck, he can still see me. Ah! Come on. Stop following me. this world without the help of disgusting machines <laughs> all of this thanks to you you should have seen the face of dr anderson when i told him about his dead wife using her voice easily manipulated fool nine keys to lock the gate no Nine keys to remove the gate. Returning the universe to the states before the gods closed it to everyone but them. Whoa! <laughs> you even handed me the eye, the last key to my liberation. Ah! Oh! oh.
Holy sh- Oh! Whoa! Where are we now? Oh! Is this Helheim? Are these all the souls of the damned and dead? Ho! Oh. It is Helheim. To admit, I did not see. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you have a good one, buddy. Happy Halloween. I gotta say, that was one hell of a twist. I legitimately didn't expect that. Loki masquerading as Eric's wife and shit. Good job, storytellers. Is that my corpse? Oh. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that's true. In fact, now I kind of feel like an idiot for not anticipating it earlier. Huh, alright, which path should I go? Left or right? Well, last time I went left, so I'm going to try right this time. Christ almighty, that's nightmarish. Like, that's... That's true blue fucking nightmare fuel right there. I don't know how anyone can look at something like that and not find that even the least bit creepy. God, they're all over the fucking ceilings and shit. Fuck! Too. Yeah, it's their design's really simple, but uh, effective nonetheless. Fuck, I'd love to see what the art book of this game looks like. It's probably loaded with all sorts of weird shit in it.
Who's that cackling? Oh, oh god! I'm out of here! I'm out of here! Stop chasing after me! Ow! Ah! then so I'm supposed to go through there I assume so we shall sally forth Back on the surface! Hooray! Give me those bag of chips. Technology research, note 7. The gods have blessed us with a new discovery. The blood of Loki seems to be the key to immortality. It is said to have magical healing capabilities. This is great news. Soon, the grasp of sickness will be lifted from you. Okay. Well, that blows. I mean, it's nice I've got my limbs back, but it also sucks that I don't have that neat ass glowy arm. Oh, fuck. God, the designs of these things. Jesus Christ. I mean, it's great monster design, don't get me wrong, but it's also fucking terrifying. But it's a horror game, so it comes with the territory, I guess. Alright, time for me to sneak by. didn't see me. I don't see you, you don't see me. Leave it like that. Woo! Made it out there. Bo skin and bones intact. Hell yeah. Alright, I'm going to save right here and I'll take a look at some of these like little stations. Okay. Anything in here? No, there is not, and I don't have my access arm.
Sweet. Oh, this is an elevator? What the fuck? Oh, crap. If I just stay in this container, they won't see me. At least that's what I hope. Oh, what's your theory? Spew it out for me, fam. Also, come on, you stupid. Shit, there's three. There's three of these fuckers. Did I just see a fourth one? Five! Catch me alive, suckers! Whew. Uh, me too. I, I lost the ch connection there too, so I did a quick refresh. So, uh, what was your theory? Lay it down for me. Mythology research, note 8. This will be the last note for a while. A lot of things have happened, and uh, we did some research on the god of mischief, Loki, uh, in, in Note 2. The myth tells the story of the mischievous god Loki being locked underground forever, with acid slowly dripping on his flesh. But there seems to be more. To make sure that Loki could never deceive anyone ever again with a shapeshift. Oh, uh, that's obvious. Was molten onto his skin with powerful magic to ruin the attractive face Loki was so fond of. That's obvious. The mask would not only make sure that if the shapeshifting god would ever escape his imprisonment, he could be recognized, it would also start interfering with the shapeshifting itself. It would cause Loki to lose control of his form, to, to stop him from purposefully taking any specific shape or form. Effectively ending his days of deception. Well, it, it worked. Kind of, but he could still do shit with his voice, so... That's fucked. Alright, just doing an extra save. I wonder if this means I'm gonna get my arm back. You know, it's your typical, like, folly of man type shit. Messing with things that they should not be messing with, and oh goodness, that's not good. That's not good at all. Oh goodness, what a mess we've made. I wonder... Oh my god, there's my corpse. 
Oh, oh my goodness. He ripped my head off. Why did I not see that earlier? Cool theory. That is a really cool theory. Now, time to see where Heinrich. Time to see if Heinrich's still alive. Or, I mean, not Heinrich, Henrik. <gasps> oh. Henrik! I didn't finish it. I was, I was, I'm, I'm so sorry. I couldn't finish it. You have to run. Run away. Henrik. You, you're back. Be, be, be oh. Be, you, you, you must. Did, did Loki do this to you? Oh, Loki. He will pay. I swear to it. A, a soul stone. You have to bring one of them here. There's one in the room across. Don't worry, dude. I'm gonna go and rescue your butt. Don't die on me, dude. Henrik! I found it! Henrik! Henrik! Hold it up for me. Yes. No. No longer will I be contained. No. No longer. Oh. oh boy. No, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh boy. Time for body horror again. I almost said body horror. I meant body horror. Oh boy. Uh. <laughs> Thank you. Successful. But this isn't enough power to destroy those. We 
we have to find more power to destroy that bastard. And to accomplish this, there are a lot of questions to answer. Questions about me. Loki has a name. He has something in mind. A great purpose. Now I suspect that you find out more in Helheim. So I need you to find another route back there, Anne. Helheim, stop ordering me around. If you know so much about me, then just tell me. I need to know. When, uh, when Loki... When Loki cut my body in half, in his indulgence of my torture, he spoke of his daughter. Her name was Hell, and she died long ago. The things he said makes me think that the artifact tissue used for your creation was from Hell herself. Look, you wanted his daughter back. Yes, so he made you. Yep, we were right. Right now, nothing in Midgard has the power to stand up against Loki. So our best chance is starting at your roots and search from there. Since the Absalom is out of control and the roots of Yggdrasil are spreading, there should be one leading to Helheim. Have you seen any route that could lead us there? I did see one. In the West Wing. Freight elevator. It can take us to a place with a route I used to get out of Helheim. And now we're willfully going to the world of the dead. This is crazy. Uh, Okie dokie. Okay, that door still is in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Relatively on the money, uh, give or take. The facility has grown in equal proportions to the discoveries made during the last few months. The various spatial phenomena occurring in the vicinity of the Absalov are astounding, and the materials excavated are just... Uh, they're alien in nature and most likely dangerous. And I keep wondering about Dr. Henrik Anderson's intentions. It's clear he's looking for something. At first, I figured it to be a religious reasoning behind his actions. But when I came across a schedule for the facility, I noticed how Anderson has apparently moved his own daughter into one of the advanced care units. He's planning something. I want to find out what. The machine. Something entered our world and it's speaking to us from the machines. The conversations among the crew are turning into fanatic gibberish. They're talking about higher beings from beyond the roots, about eternal life and ascension through the knowledge of the spirit in the machine. I fear what might come out of this. Ooh. 
damn it. Probably could jump off of here if I wanted to, but that'd be a bad idea. So I'm not gonna. Tell me to go there when I've already been here. Yeah, we're supposed to go to the West Wing. Stupid. Probably. Henrik's daughter mixed with uh, Loki's blood. Surely nothing bad will happen out of something like that. Time to go to the West Wing. I'm coming for you, Loki! You and your little dog, too! Well, I mean, that dog actually likes me, but... You got the point. I like playing with this arm. Wee, 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 wee. It's really strange. My senses are twisted. I mean, that's not the only horror game that I've seen that's basically a custody battle. Um. I tell you what the other game I'm <laughs> hang on. Hang on, I'll be right back. Sorry about that, uh, mom just needed help with something, so I got an unexpected spook. Rather fetting, actually. I wonder if those spider assholes are still here. Hmm, I don't hear any chitter-chattering, so... Or 
Perhaps I'm safe for now. Anyway, I think uh, I'm gonna cap things off when we go back to Helheim. See, is there anything else around here that I could grab? No, there doesn't appear to be. Oh, fuck! There we go. Gotcha, bitch. They're all coming in the same direction. Fuck! Must have heard me kill their buddy. birds with one stone. Hell yeah! Fuck you assholes! I'm out of here. Oh damn it, that's right, I don't have arm number eight. No matter, I was voted most artistic in high school. Yeah, hey, you can't jump up here, dickwads. You'll never catch me alive! Oh. That's all this area was? Just to get a collectible? That's stupid. Oh, time to go back into Helheim. And we We have to get across that gap somehow. Hmm. Those pillars on the other side. I'm not sure, but I think you can activate them with a shot from Young Vapor. Hmm. The energy signature of that shrine is very similar to Atrium. I think you can charge the Young Vapor with it. Oh, that's cool.
was a nice little handy dandy shortcut. God, I just can't believe like how good looking this game is. It's almost insane how pretty it is. Don't get near me, asshole. Okay, good. I think I'm going to end it right here, uh, just because I think that this is the perfect spot to leave at, because, like, I mean, look at this. We're practically in the final stretch right now. I'll save it for next weekend, but um, anyway, I'm going to quit off for now. Uh, hope everyone has a good, happy Halloween and good spook, good spooky night. Uh, I couldn't do exactly everything I wanted to do, but at least I was able to do some fun things with everybody. Um, anyway, have a good night. Yeah, I'm gonna quit out for now. <sighs> that it was. That it was. And anyway, good night everybody.